This is my review of the Smart Level Construction Altimeter. Uh, if you are in the market for a construction altimeter, you are probably familiar with Zip Level. And this would be the only other option I really know of called Smart Level. It's also marketed under the brand U Level. And there's some kind of parent company thing there or whatever. But so this is the smaller guy, right? The one that's lesser known. I was looking for reviews. I didn't find much out there. And so I thought it would be helpful for me to review this product on my own experience, as well as you know my uh, things you might consider if you were making a decision between the two. Now, I've used Zip Level. You don't need me to review it. I think there's a bunch of reviews out there already and they work great. Uh, they do exactly what you expect them to do, small tolerances and height. The whole idea of a construction altimeter is to get you small differences among uh, plane uh, height differences. So, you know, you find a zero point and then you go over here and this is a half inch higher, this is three eighths inch lower, and people who would use that are hardscape uh, contractors, landscapers, uh, foundation repair people to look for movement uh, or sag in floors. And so we, we've we used the zip level, we thought we'd try the smart level. And what you'll notice is it comes in this kind of rugged, beefy case. It seemed kind of nice when I pulled it out. Uh, I did immediately notice though that it was bulging and it's bulging in the front. I don't think you'll be able to see this on camera, but it, it kind of bulges up top there. And uh, because of that, there is this gap in the seam. You'll see it gets smaller on the sides and it's kind of bulk bulkier in the middle. So it's protruding, pushing out. And that's because the case isn't big enough for the tool. So maybe this was an off the shelf case that they found or were able to private label or something because I know they did that at least with their monopod here. This is their monopod. It's a Amazon Basics monopod. So you know somebody might use this for their smartphone or camera or some other thing. And so that's what it comes with. Now, uh, once you open the case, I don't think the cameras can see this low, it's out of frame, but you'll see that inside it's, you know, foam, kind of like where you expect the camera to be packed in. And this is the smart one. So, the way this works, this operates and functions. If you're familiar with zip level, it works much of the same way. There's a hundred feet of, of uh, tubing in here. And the thing is with zip level, you have this real, I don't even know what kind of tubing it is because it's wrapped in a sleeve. It doesn't stick to itself. It doesn't coil. It's really nice tubing. This is pretty obvious to know what it is. This is vinyl tubing. And this is the stuff you'd see in beer line or you know that sort of thing it's a it looks like it's a brand super thane ether and it's it's got a not sure this is really important to anyone it has a 3 16 inch internal diameter and 5 16 inch outside diameter i don't know if you can see that so put it is they fill their tube uh, with some i think it's mineral oil or some kind of oil you can look it up and Zip level has a pressurized tube with a proprietary fluid. And the, the criticism that people have about zip level is every two to three years, depending on how you use it and you know, uh, the use it gets, when the level sees that its pressure is too low, it tells you, it gives you an error code and it tells you to send it back. And they turn it around in a couple days, send it back to you, costs $180 to do, but your tool's good to go. This is supposedly field serviceable through this kind of port here. I hope I don't have to encounter that, uh, but the it looks like you know maybe you refill it here if it get, gets a bubble in it, it's a problem. So you would have to flush that bubble out, cut it off, refill it. I'm not sure. So um, you would. So this is fine. The reason I'm not a big fan of this tubing is that vinyl tubing, like, I'm not sure if you can tell, but I only have 10 feet of this out or so, and it's already kind of coils up on itself, and uh, if, once you, if you pull out all 100 feet of it, it can be really difficult to deal with. Also, uh, the way it fits in here, you really need to be careful how you wind it up. It's hard. You kind of got to use both feet and both hands, try to hold it in 
in place with your feet while you get this tiny little thing around, do not hit your foot, do not hit anything else, while this hand guides and try, tries to go left to right if you can, try to make sure it's, it spools up correctly so the next time a guy pulls it out, it's not a bunch of spaghetti. Who knows if you're sharing this with somebody, if they're going to be as careful as you are. So that's a consideration. Um, the, the other thing here is the ergonomics of, of the, or the uh, way this is designed. There's no strain relief on this. That's, that's going to be the area that gets the most use and wear and tear because you're walking around with it, you're doing stuff, and that's going to keep uh, getting some uh, use on it. And without a strain relief here, some kind of like strong rubber grommet that it would fit in, I, I can see that be the fail. That's going to be the first failure point in the line. Uh, also, it comes with the, it has this weird, it has this black of no, there's, there's no use for this on the tool. So maybe this was, you know, re um, used from some other tool, but that, that maybe that, that's a way that they build it. But that, that black rubber piece there, you can't see because I don't have the lighting correct, but there's a crack at the, there's, at the bottom, there's an opening. And if I were to shine light, you'd be able to see it. And that gap is gonna get dirt and moisture and whatever in it over time. I did let them know about it. They didn't tell me that that wasn't supposed to be there. They just kind of ignored that question and noticed the question, so I'm not sure. You could reach out to them about that. Maybe I got a bad one. The, uh, also the battery compartment is, doesn't just uh, click out, so you will need to make sure you have a small screwdriver for that to be able to change out batteries if you're out in the field. Um, let's see if I can, some of this stuff is hard to see in the lighting, but not sure if you can tell, but you see those little dents on top? That's just how it came. So um, there, there's a lot of that around on this tool. And, and you know the way it kind of the the fit and finish of it and how it got put together. I'm not I'm not confident that this is something that you can see some more you know dents there. I, I'm not confident this thing is going to last or how it was built or where the parts were sourced. It does say made in USA on it, proudly made in USA. But I do know the made in USA thing is. Uh, not always what it's cracked up to be. There's a lot of rule. You can kind of essentially order all your parts and just put them together in the USA and call that made in USA. So I, I'm not accusing them of anything. I just, it, you know, the fit and finish isn't exactly what I would be proud of for a made in USA product. Uh, the other things are, the, the main reason I bought this, what's the name of the device? It's called the Smart Look. And so, the reason I bought this was, I'm, I'm a techie guy and I like smart things. And they pitched that this device works on both Android and iOS, whereas Zip Level, their smart features are only on Android and it's a $240, $250, you know, add-on that you do with it, uh, which would work for me. I have an Android device, but not every, you know, I don't know if I'll have an Android device three or four years from now. And, and I don't know if there's somebody else who might need to use the tool if you share your tools with anyone else, uh, like if you were going to put some of these on a truck, you know, company trucks or something like that, you don't know what your employee might have as their phone. So I liked that idea that it could be on, on either. Now, I have a, a Google Pixel phone, an Android phone, and so I was able, only able to test out with Android. I, I can't speak to the iOS. Now, the app crashed on me all five times a day. And it crashes without auto saving, so I'm out there getting feel. The way it works is you download an image, right? Maybe it's the 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 if you're doing it inside, it's the floor plan of the house. And you you scroll in, you find the spot that you're standing in, and then you get your measurement, and then you hit record, right? You go to another spot, you scroll over, you see the find the spot that you're standing in, you hit record, and you do that. And you spend your time and you get around the whole house and or at some point it goes poof the app just crashes now i made them aware of this they seem uh to uh, they indicated that they aren't aware of that that being a problem but that was the problem that i experienced and it, i experienced it over and over again there's actually two apps in the google play store for this one's called smart level which is kind of hard to find because there's other types of like smart level apps out there and one is called U level 
And so the U level one seems to have been used for longer. It's, uh, it's been around longer, more reviews, mixed reviews. It doesn't, uh, it hasn't been updated since 2019. And right now I'm, at, I'm in uh, October of 2021. Now the smart level app has a recent update, but they both are crashing. So I can't, you know, I can't speak to that. That was a big problem because that was one of the big reasons I bought the whole thing. Now, the uh, other thing, in, the other, the kind of a, the fatal flaw of this is the one thing I need this tool to do is that I need to be able to rely on the measurements. I need to be able to rely on if I get a zero point right here, and this is my zero point, and I go around and that's three eighths, and that's five sixteenths, and that's a quarter, and that's an inch and a half, and that's that those are the, the relative height differences in altitude compared to my zero point. Well, I would go around and get the measurements. I was doing this outside and I had my zero point. I went and got measurements. I gave up on the app. I went back to the, my zero point and my zero point was now uh, plus 1.5 inches. I think it was plus, it was plus or minus 1.5 inches. And that's a big problem. That means all my measurements are off or unreliable. I can't rely on them. I don't know where they are. Are they relative to that at zero? Are they relative to it as an inch and a half? Somewhere in between? I don't know. I tested it again. I zeroed out and I went nowhere. And I just waited. And then I got my measurement again. And it varied. It was, I watched it kind of move around and fluctuate between you know, a 16th, 3 eighths, 5 sixteenths, 11 sixteenths, back to zero. It went as high as an inch and a quarter or something in that round. That's just, I, that, I can't deal with that. So that was the main reason I decided I, I can't use this tool. I told them I needed to return it uh, because it was, in my opinion, uh, not living up to its claims. It doesn't actually function with the, the tolerances that it, it specifies. And uh, they told me that there would be a 25% restocking fee. It's, it's zero return policy, but they would make an exception for me. And then I, 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 it didn't even cross my mind when I ordered it directly from the company that that would be the case because it's, it's been a number of years since I've seen that, that kind of thing. So uh, just bear that in mind that uh, if you're buying this, if you decide after this review that you still want this, this device, you want to try it out, see if it works for you. I would make sure to buy it from a store. If you can find a store online that sells it, that has a return policy, whereas if it uh, doesn't work or doesn't meet expectations or even as many other stores like Amazon, you just decide you don't want it anymore. Uh, they have a return policy that meets your expectations. And uh, this one, the, the, you know, I bought it directly from the company, so uh, I will be taking a two hundred dollar hit, returning it to them. Uh, the uh, that's that's my review of this product. So I'm going to go back to Zip Level, and I never had a problem with them. Now it doesn't. You know, unfortunately, they don't have smart features that work on both iOS and Android. Uh, I can say that of all the guys I've seen actually use these. Few people don't even use the smart features. I personally would because I'm a, a kind of a tech person. And I like to get those, but most don't. Most just they want to get a measurement. They might have a printed copy of something they have already, and, and they're they're marking off their readings. And that's how most people actually use the tool. So uh, for for that, then um, then the Zip Wallet's gonna work just great. So that's my review, and I hope it's helpful for you. If you have any questions that I can answer, uh, go ahead and put them in the comments. I can't guarantee because I won't have this tool by the time you probably watch this, but uh, go ahead and I can maybe give any, uh, any feedback on things that I may have experienced with it. Thanks.